My name is Rebecca. In 2002, I started experiencing chest pain. I was 31 years old. After visiting multiple doctors, I was told it was stress, but a girlfriend told me to keep looking. Six doctors were wrong. In December of 2007, I was diagnosed with coronary microvascular disease. Overcome by feelings of worry and fear, I started to panic. With these thoughts swirling through my head, my husband suggested that I write them all down. I'll never forget what he said that day in December. Perhaps your story could help other women who suffer from heart disease. Welcome to Empower Live. Rebecca, it is so such a pleasure to have you with us. Your story is so amazing. Thank you, Michelle. It's, it's my pleasure to be here. So tell us what happened to you. I mean, I know you... You struggled, you had some symptoms, and so I'm going to let you share your story of what it was that, that you were dealing with and struggling with. It was a unique situation because as a young woman, you don't think you're going to have heart disease, and yet I found myself at the age of 32 experiencing very strange symptoms, and it took me literally five years and six different doctors before I found the correct diagnosis. So what were your symptoms actually? You know, they were not the typical Hollywood heart attack symptoms. They were tightness of chest, fatigue, nausea, dizziness, and just a general sense that there was something wrong, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. So you knew you had something wrong with you, and yet you went to seven six doctors. doctors. Six doctors. And, and what did they say to you? Well, I'll never forget the one doctor who told me that I need to cut down the stress in my life. And I've heard he, that before. Thank you. <laughs> and he said that, you know, certainly I couldn't have heart disease because I was too young, I was a woman, right. and I didn't smoke. And you probably looked too great. And I looked What's great. What's wrong with you? Right. Uh, and he sent me home with some uh, antidepressant, which I never oh, filled. Wow, you and did. I, I went to another doctor. And so you, you had the fortitude to carry on until you found the right doctor. I had a dear friend of mine who once said that, it's your heart, you have no choice but to find the answers. And she was right. So she knew. She knew. And intuitively, I always say it's in our gut right. that we just have to listen to ourselves and, and we will guide ourselves to where we need to go. Very true. But the fact that you just hung in there and stuck with it was amazing. So what were you diagnosed with? It's called ischemic heart disease. It's specifically coronary microvascular disease. Okay. And if you've ever seen the heart, there's tiny vessels that mesh themselves around your heart. And these vessels, unfortunately, in my case, with this condition, do exactly the opposite of what they're supposed to do. So instead of constricting, they expand and so forth. So what, after you got the, received the diagnosis, what did you think? I didn't know where to begin. It was so long ago and there wasn't much information at that point on the web until I found your website. Oh, really? And only then did I begin to realize, number one, that there was other women out there who had most probably the same condition, if, if not at least heart disease, that you can bond with. But then the aspect of being able to ask a doctor is invaluable. Well, see, I didn't realize that our site was the where you came and got got some of the information. So thank you. Oh, <laughs> I, it just warms my heart. I have to tell you, and I know you've just become a huge advocate mm -hmm. and have shared your story. You, you're on a thousand women mm -hmm. or a thousand women dot com, and, and you're getting votes left, right, and center as you share your story. You know, a lot of people appreciate that website because it gets the word out about heart disease in my case, plus every other woman's story on that website, whatever their case may be, when you share it, you, there's, there's strength in those numbers, there's power there. There is. And it's a valuable website, it's, it's amazing. So has it been cathartic for you to share this? And, have, and you, you, I know you've had a lot of positive response. I have had a lot of positive response. It's, uh, it's amazing, like the video had said, that my husband was the one who suggested that I get this into writing, because if you've ever, you understand, when you're diagnosed with something, you have to put your thoughts on paper to kind of wrap your head around it. So it's it's very cathartic, very good. So what are you do, what are you doing now? How are you staying healthy? Because I mean, you look like the picture of health. You're beautiful, <laughs> and I love the fact that you've got what Rebecca's heart hearts. It's Rebecca's heart. heart. Dot WordPress dot com. Okay, and 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 what can people learn? What can women learn when they go there? Well, you know, the tagline, of course, become your best advocate. 
as many are, but it's true because when you when you begin to read stories that are, affect you, and, and I try to write my stories in such a way where they encourage women to find the answers they need, regardless of their condition. Right. Um, because I feel that's all. That's what it's all about. Exactly. You're so you're 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 spot on. So how are you feeling today? I'm okay. You know, I think I have the right mix of, of medication because that's all you can do. There's no surgery for it. It's the tiny vessels. Oh, so there's nothing other than medication to medication. take. Medication. And do you want, do they tell you to watch your diet and exercise and all those things? Of course. Okay. You know, and I have a chihuahua, which I walk regularly. Good. So he's my, my partner, but yeah, healthy, you know, healthy diet, plenty of rest, plenty of exercise, and most importantly, to listen to your body because women in heart disease, so many symptoms aren't typical, at least what you read about. So if right. you sense something is wrong, acknowledge that and do something about that. Right. Well, thank you, Rebecca. Thanks so much for sharing your story and My thank pleasure. you for being such an inspiration for so many other women. You don't have any idea of the lives that you're going to change. So thank you. <laughs> you're so welcome. I and and that. all the best to you, the best in health. Thank you very much, Michelle. Thank you. This is Empower Live. Thank you for joining us.